Okay, this is example nine in our sequences and series topic. We're going to have a look at the sum to n terms of a geometric series. We've been looking at the nth term rule for a geometric series, and so now we're going to have a look at the n terms of a geometric series. I've got the equation written out here, which I've called e um, equation one. Uh, the sum to n terms is all of the different um, terms added together. We've got a, the first term, a, r, the second term, multiplied by the common ratio, multiplied by the common ratio again, a, r squared, all the way up to the nth term, a, r, to the power n minus 1. We add them all together, that's your sum to n terms. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of that equation by r, the common ratio. So we've got r, s the r times the sum, and on the right-hand side, all our terms we've increased, we've multiplied through by r, so a becomes a r, a r becomes a r squared, and so on, and the last term increases its uh, the power n minus 1 by 1 to a r to the power n. If you notice the colours that I've added there, you notice that there is a matching term, it has to be a wee bit offset, but there is a matching term apart from the two red terms, a in the first equation and ar to the n in the second equation don't have a matching term. And we're going to subtract uh, equation 2 from equation 1. So we've got on the left hand side we've got sn sum minus rsn. On the right hand side we've got the red, I'll bring this in, we've got the We've got a here, which we don't have anything matching to subtract it to, so we're going to get a. But the ar subtracts with that ar to give us 0, ar squared subtracts to give 0, and so on. Uh, we've got ar to then minus 1 subtracts to give 0. We've got, effectively then, if you think about, we've got nothing left at the end here. Subtract ar to the n, we've got minus ar to the n at the end. So we've got this very... Uh, simple equation when we subtract one from the other. We've got a common factor on both sides, and then we can divide through by 1 minus r, which gives us uh, a little formula which we can use for the sum uh, to n terms of a geometric sequence uh, series, sorry, which is this. The sum to n terms is a multiplied by 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. And that's a formula that works for all geometric series. I've written r is less than 1 because it's particularly useful when the ratio is less than 1. Uh, you'll notice that both of these expressions remain positive in that case. When r is greater than 1, we could, we don't have to, we could still use this formula, we could consider what happens if we actually had subtracted 1 from 2 at the beginning. And effectively the terms are reversed you can can prove it if you want. I'm not going to at the moment, but you end up if I just move this up a little bit. Oops, we end up with a second formula, which looks very similar. A times r to the n minus one over r minus one. Notice that the r and the one terms uh, swap places. Both of these work all the time. Uh, but there's a, a, a suitability that when r is less than 1, the first one works best. When r is greater than 1, the second one works best. So you can decide to use one of them all the time or to change it depending on the value of r. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, example 9. It says find s9, find the, the sum of the first nine terms of this geometric series. So as normal, the first thing we're going to do is to uh, perhaps investigate this, write down a few terms that we know uh, and that we want to um, take from this. What can we deduce? We can deduce that A is 6. Uh, and we can look at the common ratio by taking any two terms and dividing the second term by the first. So 4.5 uh, divided by 6, or I could do 3 and 3 eighths divided by 4.5. Um, we've got a fraction in a fraction, various ways you could uh, simplify that. You could uh, double both of them, uh, the numerator and denominator, just to get rid of that half. Uh, so r would be 9 over 12, and that gives you enough. Uh, you get two whole numbers, and we can recognise that's three quarters. You might not have spotted that from 4.5 over 6. So r is three quarters, a is 6, and we're asked to find uh, the sum to the first nine terms, so n is going to be 9 for our case. So we write down the formula. 
Let's have a look at r just for a moment. r equals 3 quarters, uh, which is less than 1. So we can use the form of the formula that's less than 1. So we can say that the sum to the first 9 terms, well, let's write it down as a, a general um, rule first, Sn. Uh, sum to n terms is a times. Now, r is less than 1. Uh, which means I'm going to use the one that's going to have a 1 first. And so it's 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Okay, so we want for s9, uh, it's going to be 6 multiplied by 1 minus 3 quarters to the power 6 all over. 1 minus 3 quarters. Okay, so we've got a little bit of work to do in tidying that all out. Um, let's have a look and see if I use my calculator, which you're going to kind of have to do here. Uh, we've got 6 multiplied by, well, we've got 1 minus 0 0.0751 all over quarter, 1 minus 3 quarters is a quarter. Um, so I could divide, a 6 divided by a quarter is the same as 6 times 4, so that's 24 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.0751, it works out as 0 0.9249, and if I multiply those together, I get 22.1982. three decimal places. Okay, that's the sum of the first nine terms. Okay, so we I've not kept it as a fraction. It would have to have been a, a quite t intense fraction work to do that. So I've rounded it to three decimal places, and we can find the sum of the first nine terms. I hope that makes sense. So a few more examples, you can check up on them as well.